Ever since Alexa Bliss became a victim of The Fiend, we've watched her character change on WWE television. We've watched the happy goddess turn into sometimes a sinister witch. At the moment, her character looks like this. Very, very eerie. The dark black circles around the eyes... Most of the time, not really in this image, it's not really visible. But the white on her face, very reminiscent of the Abby the Witch puppet we see in the Firefly Funhouse. The puppet that represents Bray Wyatt's memories of Sister Abigail. And that's drawn a lot of comparisons to say, could it be Alexa Bliss is turning into Sister Abigail? Maybe. We've seen The Fiend be resurrected from Limbo. So why could they not have done that to Sister Abigail, who we already know from a previous Funhouse episode, is in Limbo. But that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is that there was some breaking news late last night, and it looks very, very interesting. Ringside News have reported that a pitch was made for Alexa Bliss to adopt a mask at some point during the storyline. Obviously, this hasn't happened yet. It was noted that the idea is still out there and that this is a distinct possibility that WWE could introduce Alexa Bliss having a mask. There was reports saying that she was apparently going to wear a mask for the Royal Rumble, but obviously WWE changed their minds. That does explain why they hyped her being in the match and then eliminated her really quickly. You cannot introduce a character like that in a match like the Royal Rumble and then have her thrown over the top rope. It would never have gone down well with fans. It's interesting though, because if this was the plan back in January, you have to believe WWE have a mask. They've got to. If they was going to put her in a mask at the Royal Rumble match, they surely had to have a mask ready to go. The idea was there. Order's been made to make it or something. I don't know. But it had to be. Obviously, plans changed. Now, a lot of people, rightfully, are nervous about Alexa Bliss wearing a mask on WWE television. And I think that's justified. One of the best things, I think, with Alexa Bliss's character has been her facial expressions. The fact that she can go from happy-go-lucky one minute to the evil, maniacal, jumping-into-your-face character the next has been a pleasure to watch on television. You take a mask and cover that face and you get rid of the facial expressions, that may hurt a little bit. It can't have been easy for Alexa to walk into Bray Wyatt's story and have the same passion and drive that Bray Wyatt has telling it. Bray Wyatt created this story. It's his idea. He's happy to see it succeed. Alexa Bliss being part of it is amazing, but the passion has to be there as well. And I think it has been, and it's been displayed. I think that's why Fireflies have really accepted Alexa Bliss joining the Funhouse. But what about the actual mask itself? What do I think this mask could be? Well, if we're going on the realms that it's already created and that WWE have an idea of what it's going to be, the first thoughts has to be a fiend mask. It kind of makes sense that you would do a female fiend version because one, you're going to want women, you're going to want girls to purchase this from WWE shop. Two, you could do the same thing as you do with The Fiend in the female division. That makes perfect sense as well. We already have seen a doll that people believe is representative of Alexa Bliss in the Firefly Funhouse. We saw this ages ago, but obviously you can see there's pink on the mask and stuff. Maybe that is the female version of the mask. We don't know. But I think WWE should take a page out of the Funhouse book. The whole idea of the Funhouse is about righting wrongs from the past. Why not go the obvious route and go with No Mercy? This was a promo WWE put out there for the No Mercy pay-per-view. And in it, Alexa Bliss has a mask. Watch. N-O-M-E-R-C-Y Slam them down and make them cry. 
Although I don't know how you would transition this to the Funhouse story, I do feel like it would be a cool flashback. And the thing is, it doesn't have to be a permanent feature on WWE television. WWE struck the right balance with The Fiend and Funhouse Bray Wyatt. We still got our taste of seeing Bray Wyatt and the promos in the Firefly Funhouse. But then we got this dark, masked monster who just destroyed everybody in the shape of The Fiend. That could be the direction that WWE go in with Alexa Bliss. We see her in the playground or something. And in the playground, she's the happy, yowie, wowie, smiley Alexa Bliss. And then for matches, she can go and turn into that demonic masked monster. Kind of makes sense. You also then have the possibility to sell more merchandise, which we know WWE Shop would love to do. Literal, it's a business it's what they literally do all the time. You could even write Alexa off of television for a while and then bring her back. We know that bringing him back at Fastlane was a massive success for WWE. There's merchandise being made right now that's selling out like hotcakes. There is literally viral videos on YouTube from WWE of The Fiend's return. It was trending on social media for like two days after his actual return. And I think WWE might want to duplicate that if they have the opportunity to do so. Kind of makes sense why they would. I think it's a really cool idea. I hope it's not a permanent mask that she never gets off her face or something. I hope it is, like I said, something she wears to wrestle. And then in promos and stuff, we see Playground Alexa. Kind of makes sense that way. But let me know what you think in the comments section down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, like the video, share the video so your friends can find it and come and have their say. And I'll see you next time. Peace!